Hey guys, this is Matt with Blue Mantle Films, and today I'm going to show you how to take this and turn it into this without any plugins. Stay tuned. So we're going to start with dragging our clip to the timeline. We'll delete the audio. We're going to duplicate the clip twice and then drag those clips up above the first clip. Now use your slide tool or keyboard shortcut Y. Drag the second layer one frame over and the third layer two frames over. Now on the second layer, make the opacity 67% and on the third layer, make the opacity 33%. And there you go. Now in some scenarios, I found that you don't have to do two clips above the original clip. Sometimes you can get away with just doing uh, one layer and put the opacity at 50% but I found I usually get better results when I do two layers and 67 and 33%. Now the main shortcoming of this method is that it makes for essentially a multiple exposure image. So it only works if there's only a little bit of movement in the footage. Anytime you get a lot of movement, this method won't work. One thing that I do to try to uh, bring down the appearance of the multiple exposure is to sharpen all three layers together. So I will take these three clips, I nest them together as one clip, I'll add a sharpen filter, and we'll just try 50%. And that looks okay. I don't know if I'll use it or not, but it's something to just try to, to bring down that multiple exposure look, that kind of soft look. Now here's a different clip that we're gonna try a different approach for. In this scenario, the flicker is only on the lower left-hand corner, and we don't want to have that delayed look, uh, that multiple exposure look. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the same method to reduce the flicker, but then we are going to mask just this corner where the flicker actually is, and have that mask be on the second and the third layer. And that makes it so that only this little corner has uh, the reduced flicker and the rest of the image is able to be as sharp as possible. So that's it. If this video was helpful to you, please hit that like button. If you'd like to see more content like this, please consider subscribing and we'll see you in the next one. All right. Bye.